What was the whole experience like for you? Like, is there anything off camera or anything uh, like- I, you I could, only you heard really the, I only heard the stories you told me that was a There was a lot of things cut. Cause you two, we all went there to scout it the day before, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, we yeah, just, yeah. We happened to be in Shinjuku and I was gonna film that the next day. And we were like, can we just like rock up to this host club and see what's up? And it like, it looks sketch, right? Like- It was pretty fucking I dirty. They were very yeah. nice to me. They were very, very nice to me, but I, I won't, I will be honest and say that the it was a little, you know. No, I mean, I remember going to the area <laughs> and I'm like, I'm normally, I'd, I don't fear for my safety in Japan. It was in the really sketchy area of Shinjuku. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's pretty shady. Yeah. And uh, I mean, <laughs> what what do you want to know about this, the whole thing? Cause like- <laughs> What the, was we, the most awkward experience? We were recording for four hours. Okay. Oh, so it was a four hour shoot. So we started before they opened up and then we went through the whole thing and they like, I, the whole point was that like, I wanted to I, like actually try and talk to customers. Yeah. Cause in my head, I wanted it to kind of be like Louis Thoreau-esque where he really, right. he, he, he puts himself in the yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm. I really wanted to put myself in a situation that was really uncomfortable for me. And uh, yeah, so I was introduced around by the main guy called Tizer and I'm, I'm very thankful he showed me around. Uh, I don't think many people in the comments liked him though. And we, <laughs> Why? We, he made a lot of jokes and we cut a lot of them. He, <laughs> he was very, very insistent on like bashing my looks a lot. And I was just, I was rolling with it. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm ugly. Wow. <laughs> like, you know? do, do you think, do you think he was trying to be funny and just failing or was it like- I think there was, was there some, some of that. I think he was also maybe a little like acting up for the camera. I think maybe he's like, oh, this new kid comes in. Yeah. You know, he's got subscribers. Let's show him like, you know, what, what's what. He ain't shit. <laughs> yeah, basically, I think it was like, this kid thinks he's hot. No way. No Assert way. dominance, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like the 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 way that they like att attract women. I found was like so blatantly Japanese. Yeah, like you, yeah. Can, you know what I mean. It's like it was the really opposite from like Western hitting on. Like they would literally the moment this girl sat down, right? They were like, "Yo, you're hot. You're beautiful. What are you doing? Oh, you like what do you do?" Really? Like, they, they were like the moment they sit down, they start hitting that forward. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and you know those girls are just like. You know, and the like, problem is, is that like, they wanted me to like sit down and immediately like start heading on them. And I was like, so like, dude, I can't do that. Like, like, <laughs> like I'm like, I like the slow game, you know, let's just yeah, talk yeah, after yeah. a date or two. Yeah. But it's really strange. So like the way the hosts work, uh, at least these guys, like the whole thing was like, you know, butter them up, get them to, you know, buy you drinks, add them online, talk to them, take them out on dates <laughs> afterwards. Be like, hey, you coming to the host club tonight? Like, it was really like weird, I, I guess. Mm. Superficial. Yeah, it was very superficial. Mm. And I, I really, I felt to understood how like a lot of these girls were really into them. Because there's one girl in the mm. video who was like adamant that she was gonna marry the host. Oh God. And oh, the host wow. was like, obviously he was like, yeah, of course you are. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, cause, she, Cause she just spent $10,000 on a champagne bottle. So of yeah. course he's gonna be yeah. like, of course you're my future what wife. What does she do to be able to afford such frivolous expenditure? What they told me, off camera was that they tend to be in the same kind of industry. Oh. So oh. it's kind of like they're like the same five Tumblr artists just giving each other the, the same the yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, yeah. Just giving each other the same commission. The right? circular economy. So, it's you, weird. so she might be working at like a Kabakura. Right. Yeah, like that most, guy might okay. go to the Kabakura yeah. to go see her. Most you know? of them were working in soap plans. So oh, a lot of them- oh, That okay. makes so much more sense. Which, <laughs> if you don't know, is uh, an underboard kind of, it's, I mean, it is, if you Google it, it's it literally brothel. says prostitution. It's, like, yeah. it's, it's legal prostitution, yeah. essentially. Um, so a lot of them tended to be also, you know, prostitutes oh, themselves. Sense, so, yeah. um, and I guess that's why they were maybe okay with the superficiality of it all. Right. Um, mm. Have you ever been to a, like a snack bar or a hostess club or anything before that? I went to like a maid cafe and that's, that was about it. Well, but like, I'd never been to like anything where it was like like that. Cause mm, they were like, yeah. from the moment these girls come in, they get eight, eight or nine minutes each, each host right. for about an hour to right. just hit on these girls. So one goes in and then, you know, he, he does his thing. Immediately after he walks, the next host comes in, starts hitting on them. <laughs> and then after like God. an hour, right? She has to choose who she likes. It's like speed dating. It's literally speed dating. But a lot of the girls I think just come in for the, cause you get like two hours of free, like, like 10 bucks for all you can drink. Right. So a lot of the people, a lot of people come in, yeah. do the two hours, and then just never come back. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I remember it was really, really, really painful to try and hit on these girls <laughs> because also I was trying to hit on them through a translator. I don't know yeah. if you've ever tried to hit on someone. <laughs> it's like, it's like, hey, it's, like, it's, like, it's like, it's like this distance. We're sitting next to them, swirling. I'm like, you look really pretty. I'd say, kide this now. Then they would, they would say it. They would say it back. And then they'd be like, thanks. And I'm like, 
Speak? Oh, oh you look very kiddie. I would not be your translator. Man, <laughs> man, just like, just imagine being the translator yeah. and just like, that's that's a next level third wheel. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then the whole thing is like, obviously I'm also drinking a lot of alcohol because the main host was adamant on getting me smashed. Yeah. And so it looked like we were drinking water, but it was just like- Short you. <laughs> in between the shots that you were constantly doing was strong zero. Oh God. And they would drink strong zero oh, like water, Jesus. right? So they oh were, my they, God. They, they would, Every, every time they'd have to go to a girl, they would have to finish all their drink that they would make as well. And oh these were always like 12% or higher spirits, right? They were pouring. So, <laughs> and this, and I remember they were telling me the hosts in Japan, they were like, like vomiting every single night from alcohol. I mean, if you're mixing strong zero yeah. with like champagne and champagne. shots. Yeah, because they made me download like a half bottle of champagne. Oh my God. How yeah, much was yeah, that worth? Video. How much I, was that? I, the, on the menu, it costs like, I think it was like 9,000 or something. Were you sick after all of this? No, I wasn't what? funny enough. I went Ow. to like Little Lamb right after and I had a great meal. <laughs> <laughs> I was like sobering up in a hot pot place. <laughs> um, Brilliant. But it was, yeah, so that was like $9,000 or something. So you drank like $4,000 worth of champagne. In uh, one yeah, day. and then a bunch of drinks in between that. The shots were like $30 each oh. and then all the drinks were like $50 <laughs> each. Would you ever do a video like that, Chris? Well, I was thinking about doing it until no, I saw no. yours. I was like, I'm yeah. not going to put myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. I, I thought. I wondered why no J vloggers had done it, but I felt like none of them would be willing to do the no, yeah. I was like, I'm not cutting like five years of my life expectancy for this video. Like, but that's like, the thing, right? They they do it, but like they all owned like apartments in central Shinjuku because they make like average like ten thousand dollars a yeah. night. Like, yeah. They yeah. make like and a lot of them send it to their family. So a lot of them are just like making the money while it's good, I guess, and then yeah. getting out. The the coolest guy there was the vice president who like wasn't a host, and I thought he was like by far the hottest as well. He was like thirty four and he looked like every like bishy anime character. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was really nice. He was really open. He was giving us a whole tour, telling us everything about the, the club, whilst the other guys just wanted to see me fail with the women. Like, cause, <laughs> cause they, I remember the main guy was like, oh yeah, 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 you're gonna, you're gonna be supporting me. And I turn, I, and I, so I go over and he's like, oh yeah, so now you have to do the, you, I'll, I'll support you. I'm like, what <laughs> I was lied to. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, and, and we cut a lot of the stuff cause I got really fucking drunk. Um, what's like the, <laughs> what's like the craziest place you're like willing to like go film in Japan? Well, I don't know. I've always wanted to film in a snack bar or a hostess bar. Because you've done the- been, What are they? Well, it's, it's basically like what you've just described, but the other way around with girls and guys, right? Yeah. Oh, it's, okay. It's, it's far less expensive. And where I used to live in Yamagata, it's like the only thing to do. You go to an Izakai and the second place you always go for a Nijikai party is a hostess club or a snack. Oh, okay. Mm. Snack bar is kind of like a cheaper variant. I, I've been to a snack bar before. Yeah, and there's nothing seedy about them. There's nothing no, no. really seedy about hostess I mean, clubs. it was a little bit seedy for me because I was like 16 when I was <laughs> <laughs> okay, That's, that's not I was just in the seedy, middle, but illegal. I was like in the middle of nowhere in Hokkaido because I was like working in the ski fields and my boss was like, hey, let's go to a snack bar. And I'm like, I'm like, four years underage to go. <laughs> and it's like, no, nah, you'll be all right. So I went and, and you know, this like 16 year old kid just like sitting there, you know, just like sipping, you know, beer or whatever. And, and the mama who's like, yeah. the, who's that's the name that they give to like the, the main hostess of the mm -hmm. snack bar. Is yeah, the yeah, mama. Yeah. She just sat right next to me. And she's like, so how old are you? Oh God. Oh, and, I was like, and I was like, fuck, what should I say? I, I guess yes. I should just say 20. <laughs> and my, my boss at the time was like shit faced already because he couldn't hold his lick. He's like, oh, he's 26. <laughs> And, and th the moment he said that, I was like, I'm getting kicked out. There's no way she's gonna look at me and be like, yeah, you're a 26 year old. But no, the mama just looked at me and was like, I mean, oh, you look very young it, for, your, for a 26 year old. In Japan, if you say you're over 20, they don't question it. They're like, all right, cool. It's true. No, no, cause, cause like in Asia, especially like if, if you're, cause, you, cause you're like half Australian as well. Yeah. So they just assume you're fucking old as fuck. Yeah, it was because the first time sure I was thankful for my <laughs> yeah, yeah, face. Yeah. Like I was just like, thank God I look like five years older than I actually am. Yes. Yeah. I would have been in some deep shit otherwise. <laughs> but no, but the snack bar is fun. Like it's, it's mm. way more chill than like, what I assume a host club would be. It is, I mean, you just sit down. I often take friends to one just to surprise them yeah. when they come to Japan for the first time because they sit down and there's like two girls either side and they like pull their drinks, light their cigarettes. That just like, sounds like fun though. It That's does, but yeah. mostly my friends chill. are awkward because it's a concept that doesn't exist really, you know. Because yeah, I think I think if yeah. you had described that to someone in the UK, I think people would think that's kind of like, oh, you're like, yeah, you're like a sleazy yeah. old guy. I mean, yeah. the closest thing I could think of in like the UK is probably like a strip club, right? Yeah, yeah. Where yeah. that's that's like that. No, but it's, I'm not saying that is, but it's like the closest closest experience yeah, I can yeah, think yeah. of Probably, just from like a yeah. very broad yeah. term. But you they're know far I mean? better, at, better at, at a hostess 
place because they'll be really you know they'll talk to you so much yeah they'll just yeah be full on you yeah. and then they'll make you sing karaoke songs oh that sounds oh. like fun that's yeah, right they won't make you drink a disturbing amount of alcohol <laughs> like it's <laughs> not quite as bad as what you do yeah they, they definitely seem really sleazy the host clubs and I, I i believe there's like a lot of them are owned by you know uh, sketchy people. Well. <laughs> sketchy people. You know, I'm not want to yeah. say oh, yeah. name yeah. names. Sketchy <laughs> people, Connor. You know, just a, some gangs, or whatever. Like, like, uh, the Y word. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, yeah, the, the games by Sega. Those people. Uh, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> That. I'm pretty sure a lot of them are owned by that because they oh, yeah, seem to yeah, just kind of like operate under their own kind yeah, of line. Yeah, yeah, absolutely are. I mean, that's why I was so impressed that they were just willing to be like, yeah, come on in, film it all, man. Come on. Yeah. I don't know how you got permission though, that, that easily. What happened Good was, connections. is that, yeah, I think our producer, Maylene, best, best producer, has every connection in Japan, apparently. <laughs> Talk to a host. Host was like, yeah, I want to start my YouTube channel. So yeah. oh, right. <laughs> that and then that and apparently if you're like the number one host in the club, you have a lot of like power. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, the yeah. thing is, right, is that that's constantly changing. So next week you could be like, I have no say. Right. So this guy was like, oh yeah, I'm bringing in this guy with a film crew, take care of him. And to be fair, everyone was really like nice. Mm. They, they let us film a lot of stuff, like how they, when they were talking about earnings and stuff, they let us film, but we cut that. But they let us like in on listening to it and, and mm. who was winning the earnings yeah. and stuff. And they take it really seriously. They, they, they compete against other host clubs to see oh, who's getting yeah. the most oh. money between them. And we're talking like disturbing amounts of money. Like I think one guy for- his, the, the one who gets the most is Roland, I think. You heard of Roland? Right, yeah, I've Number heard one of his host. Roland yeah, Candy. Yeah, yeah. Right, like right, 50, right. $50,000 a month, I think? Y Maybe some, more? No, it's a day, a day. Per day. Cause okay. on one, yeah. one, one guy, <laughs> For his birthday, they were telling me he got like sixty thousand dollars on his birthday day. Wow. Because on the, on your birthday, everyone has to buy you drinks and stuff. Wow. 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 We're, we're in the wrong business. That's right? the yeah. <laughs> And they asked me, you know, they asked me, they're like, "How much do you earn for like having a million subscribers?" <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I okay. told them how much I earn in like a month, and they were like, "Was that it?" <laughs> Make that 10 minutes. Yeah, they, were, they were like, why don't you be hosting? So in other words, if you're starting a YouTube channel for the money, don't bother, just yeah. be host. It was at that moment that I've never regretted not speaking Japanese more yeah. than any moment. I'm like, fuck, <laughs> just come in here like part time. You know what I mean? <laughs> they're like, they're like, oh, you earn $1 per subscriber, right? That's 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 how <laughs> yeah, it works. That's how, works. that's how the YouTube economy works, that's right? Works, right? Yeah, <laughs> I, just, I never, like, I thought like I had a nice comfy earning until they like just fucking, just, in front of all the hosts were like, wow, that's pathetic. <laughs> I was like, it's just like a collective, right. like, oh. All right. All right. Yeah. that's cute. That's cute. Yeah. That's cute.